pay very, very close attention. And I mean this. Pay very close attention to Nabla Viscaris Citadel, this review that we're doing. This is a band that a couple of years ago came out with a debut that was a breath of fresh air. This is a prize for heavy metal. It was a fantastic, fantastic work. One that we reviewed, one that we covered. One that if it wasn't for a couple of very, you know, very good people in the nation, we probably would have skipped over. And we reached Citadel. We reached their second release. We reached something that was actually rather highly anticipated. And the minute that it started to become available for people to listen to, the reviews that were coming in, the, the documentations that were coming in were all rave. They were rave reviews. Pay also close attention to the name Tim Charles. Tim Charles is very, very important whenever it comes to this review, whenever it comes to this band, and whenever it comes to really what this album may come to signify. Citadel by Nabla Viscaris. Some people would lump these guys as progressive death metal, and I would actually put them along those same lines. Whenever I think of these guys, and whenever I think of Citadel, I immediately draw some comparisons to early to mid Opeth, to, to Agaloc in a slight regard, uh, to Pharmacon, and also a lot, there's a lot of depth that is uh, respectably paid to other members of the progressive death metal demographic bands, such as Insomnium, Swallow the Sun. We all remember whenever bands like that hit the map. We all remember how they definitely changed our perception of bands such as Opeth. They're actually a band that started a movement. Well, one of a few. Citadel is an album that could essentially be three songs as opposed to the six that are listed. The first three are all the same idea, the same musical concept. Uh, Painters of the Tempest is the title of it. It comes in three parts, but in reality, it's actually five because track number two is split into three parts by itself. And for its 16 minute long runtime, it's understandable why it would be. This is the body. This is the body and the soul of this track, of this song. Whereas parts one and part three, tracks one and tracks three, are really musical interludes and exitludes for this that are masterfully and beautifully done with a combination of either soft guitar along with violin. Timmy Charles' is violin. This is elegantly painted by cascading progressive death metal riffs. Riffs that have a lot of power and a lot of ferocity to it. Death or harsh vocals, however you wish to display them. That intermingle, that co-mingle with wonderful clean vocals. Clean vocals done by Tim Charles. Yeah, now you're starting to see how this all comes full circle. The clean vocals are masterful. It's what causes me to draw such such comparison to a band like Pharmacon, whose clean vocals had that certain element of slight imperfection that actually made them feel pure and human. And this is something that is exhibited on this album. There are some moments where you feel that they're going to go the traditional route for what the music sounds like it's supposed to kind of take you on a vocal direction, but they actually change it up a little bit. They actually throw a couple of curveballs out there. They actually go against what conventional musical thought would actually perhaps suggest. And because of that, you get a nice surprise. You get a nice shock factor every so often whenever you think that you can hum or sing along and immediately know where tonally this is going. This is also potentially the track that could have the tearjerker moment of the year. Because the violins, that solo, there are violin solos on this album. Violin solos that cascade into guitar solos are some of the most heartbreaking things that you will hear. They're beautiful. This is something that laces beautifully with the heavy metal sound, with the progressive death metal sound, in order to combine into some sort of super morph of metal. One of the nicest ideas that you hear in metal every so often, the inclusion of another instrument besides your traditional ideas and one that actually is able to, to take the overall body and element of an album, of music, 
and just transform it even higher. Help it ascend even further into the pantheon of the gods. And then you get into track number four, uh, which is just simply entitled Pyrrhic. This is the only song that's really standalone. And it's about 10 minutes long, and it's fantastic. It's very, very well delivered, very well done. And after going forward, uh, forward from a three-part massive track that spans more than the first 20 minutes of the disc, hearing how independent this song sounds definitely is a nice, refreshing change of pace. This is not something where it seems like they were writing in the same mood as as the first three tracks, you know, uh, as the first uh, as painters of the tempest, and then just decided, well, th this doesn't really fit with our storyline, or this doesn't fit with what we were doing musically. It kind of took off on its own plane of existence. We better just call it something else. It feels independent. It feels unique, and that's a great thing. Then you get to the final two tracks on the album, uh, "Devour Me, Colossus," which is just you have another track in track number five that is over 12 minutes in length. It's one that undulates once again, similar to the first three tracks on this album, into a, a, a real nice dose of harsh and clean vocal. The violins once again make a masterful reappearance. I cannot stress this enough. Tim Charles, you may be my new musical hero. I'm serious, bro. This stuff is that good. The inclusion of this work is that killer. And you also play piano. I mean, you're a very talented individual, and the rest of this band are exceptionally talented. I feel as though I'm giving Timmy all the credit. I'm giving Timmy all the fucking credit, when in reality, it should go to each and every one of you. Because you each represent what you do in the band exceptionally well. You co-mingled together, you co-wrote together, and you have delivered arguably one of the most, most perfect albums of 2014. It's amazing how a couple of different ideas, a couple of risks, perhaps taking things a, a, a different route, actually results in perfection. Whereas traditionally, if those risks had not been taken, it may be considered average or perhaps above average. Perhaps very good, but not, you know, excellent or perfect. This album has stains of perfection littered on its body. This album really, in a way, takes the route of Autotheism by The Faceless with its first opening three tracks. And it's a wonderful, wonderful and majestic road. That ding has a purpose. That ding is the idea that has just come into my mind. Something that I didn't think I would ever give once again. I never like to give guarantees, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to deliver a guarantee. But I can't find a single flaw in this record. The 10 out of 10 philosophy from albums such as Phantom Antichrist by Creator was something that I figured would be, you know, maybe once every couple of years. And well, it has been a couple of years. But now that we're on the 100, you know, the 1 to 100 scale, it seems down, downright impossible. And I'm going to give it that little bench of credit. 99 out of 100. I might as well just give it the 100, but I'm going to be a dick. I find no flaws with this album. Nothing is wrong with it. It's unique. It's beautiful. It's tremendous. Vast. Flows beautifully. Everything delivers on every level. Pay attention. This is a band that you're going to hear a lot about in the next couple of months. Not only just on this channel, but probably among your fellow metal brethren. This is also a band you're going to be hearing about, hopefully, for the next number of years. And if they keep delivering albums such as Citadel, they're going to ascend the pantheon and rise to be considered modern metal gods sooner rather than later. What did you guys think of this album? I know that you guys have been begging for me to talk about this album for quite some time. And now I finally have the opportunity because this was a release that was so hyped that I wanted to hold it in my hand before I touched the music within. 
and now I have that opportunity. And I encourage each and every one of you to go out there and hold this album in your hand and support this band. Because this is a band that deserves it. This is a band that has ascended to the top. They are now the front runners for album of the year 2014. And they may not have much in the way of competition. God damn, it's so good. Tim Charles just, wow. Fuck you for being so awesome.